Hello everybody and welcome back. It's finally time to re-begin the almost finished Terraria series. Here we're finishing off with a banger. We got Lunatic Cultist, the Celestial Pillars, and of course your favorite Moon Lord. Now, in order to do this, we gotta continue with where we left off. And that's getting some life fruit. We need maximum health, obviously, because you know who doesn't want maximum health when you're fighting the most toughest boss in any game. I think that's pretty optimal if you ask me. So we move on. I mean, I don't really know where we left off, to be quite honest with you. It was been a long ride, so we just hopped right into the first battle, and that's Lunatic Cultist. The only way you can beat Moon Lord is by beating the Lunatic Cultist, and then fighting the much-anticipated Celestial Pillars that absolutely nobody likes. Now, this fight is a cool fight, in my opinion. A lot of cool weapons. He uses all powers of the Celestial Pillars, obviously, as you can see. Nothing too special there, but uh, he is a very annoying boss to, to face in a way. I mean, he's a small target. He is the size of you. He flies around, spawns in dragons and stuff. It's hard to dodge a lot of his attacks. Um, you know, I end up retreating like 90% of this fight so I don't die. And luckily for me, uh, Kingston beats him for us, so... You know, all's well that ends well. So, moving on, after we die in the beginning of the first Celestial Pillar that we were going to originally fight, uh, we end up taking it to the Solar one first. Uh, the Solar one is actually, in my opinion, the easiest one. A lot of people think it's the hardest one, but, I mean, if you just stay on the ground, it's the easiest one. Uh, to be quite frank, the Solar Pillar is like, you know, your younger brother. Absolutely just beat the piss out of him all the day, you know? You guys get in an altercation, whatever happens, you know, you win in a video game. You're sitting here, you're absolutely, like, beating the living hell out of them. Next thing you know, uh, after, like, a couple other, you know, so odd minutes of, of beating him, you know, he eventually cries, calls mom, and, you know, at some point, the, uh, the fun has to end somewhere. Because if it didn't, then, uh, you know, your brother would probably be in the hospital. Now, where am I going with this exactly? Who knows, but just now. We beat the solar pillar. That that's about all I need to get to. Next is the nebula pillar, the one that we originally tried to fight before. You know, obviously I died. Uh, pretty pretty cool pillar. I like some of the characters. Now, listen, hear me out. The nebula brain guy, absolute smash. Just saying, absolute smash. Rolling up next, we got the vortex pillar. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, only because, you know, it's kind of easy, and of course, it holds the most overpowered, you know, class in the game, which is uh, the ranged. Not as cool, but a bit cheese. Anyway, we defeat it with ease. Uh, and then the final pillar, the star light, stardust, I don't even remember pillar. The, it's for the summoning one. I should know this. I am the summoning class, but I don't really care. We're just playing the game here to have fun, you know. So, we collect our stuff, we get our weapons, now we can summon the dragon. Of course, the most hyped up, anticipated fight of all time, Moon Lord. Here we are. Me and Kingston are flying around. We're trying to dodge all these attacks. Now, Moon Lord is great. Moon Lord is great. But he is like the grandmaster of, you know, beating small children to a pulp. Because, uh, obviously, if he wasn't, then any kid who touched this game would absolutely, you know, trash him. But, of course, you know, us small kids, you know, we're, we're underage for this guy. He's obviously, like, well over 18. This is, like, you know, pedophilia at its finest. I can't really quite explain as to why we put ourselves in this situation fighting one of the tougher bosses in the game. Uh, but, you know, if you want to beat a game, you got to go through the grueling task. So, I try to heal up. It doesn't really do much because once you get hit by this stupid laser beam, you basically say bye-bye to, like, a quarter of your health. Next thing you know, he starts touching you with his big hands and, you know, it's all weird and you get touched up on. Listen, all you can tell to your friends is that you're getting free candy and they're not. You know, of course, we don't win this fight. Now... Obviously, this is the most grueling part of the game. I mean, we've... It's just... I can't begin to explain how excruciatingly painful it is to have to beat the Celestial Pillars again just so that you can fight somebody that you just continuously die to. I mean, I I'm dead. I the hope is left in Kingston's hands here. Is he going to do it? No. He, he just dies. So, we're going to move on. We're going to try and fight him a third time after beating the Pillars for a third time. Well, I tried to get away. We were very close, but, you know, you just can't do it. It's not possible. 
So, what we decided to do is probably something that's frowned upon in the Terraria community. And I'd like to add, this is classic mode. And we suck. We know. That's why we're doing this. This is the whole point of this video. Is that we suck. And this is us showing you that we are bad at this game. So we build this little contraption with a ton of free health. We put the nurse and the druid in there. And now it begins. The final fight. Here we go. It's absolute thriller right now. We're going insane. Me and Kingston are freaking out inside this box. There's no way this plan can work, right? There's no way. But of course, the honey gives us enough health. The heart lantern gives us enough health. The druid and our bastion thingy gives us defense. We're going crazy. I'm buying health. Kingston somehow dies because I don't know what he was doing, but he was not clicking the health button. And well, here we go. The climax of the video. It all relies on this. And boom. He's defeated. Thank you all for watching. And this concludes the absolute thriller that is Terraria Classic Mode.